Oh, that's got to be your theme song. Uh, it was. And Green joined us. Rocket Man, you well, like that song? I was in a show called Rocket Man. Yes. Which, uh, which was sort of inspired by this hobby here. But I, I have to inform you, Friday nights do fly by at my place. You know, I am one sweat and interesting. It's just a hobby. <laughs> but you are, let me get this right, a Category 4 Fireworks um, Operator Certificate. You've yeah, got I've a got a Pyrotechnics Certificate. It was a birthday present for my 40th. It's a nice birthday present. But I, I, I love building these things. So you build rockets, but you also are a certified pyrotechnic, yes. pyrotechnician. So yeah, you can yeah. actually do serious stuff like the Olympics opening ceremony or closing ceremony. Yeah, yeah. or maybe yeah, yeah, Lord Co. 2012. Mm -hmm. Think about it. But these are these are what you, you would call Category Three rockets. Looking at these, and are. yes, exactly. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> uh, keep them talking. I'll make a phone call. You think? But no, these are lovely. Me, these are um, these rockets here. They'll go from probably naught to 600 miles an hour within a second. And these have got a, a D stage engine boost here. Double stage engine boost in there. But they're they're called D engines. They're like this. The equivalent, the small equivalent of an SRB, which is a solid rocket booster, which they yeah, the similar equivalent to the um, shuttle. So this one would deploy about, I don't know, half a kilometre, 600 miles an hour. And this fella here, I think you've probably got a, another D engine in there. Yeah. The engines I use, because I've got a category four, I use um, H, I and G engines. And they would send the rocket up uh, Mach 1, and uh, which is obviously yeah. sound, and it would probably go three miles and deploy three parachutes. I would have a little video camera on the side. And when you get all the kids around, including a 40-year-old kid here, um, you, you film yourselves from the rocket's POV, and it's, and it's great. And when the rocket reaches the, the right altitude, this comes off and deploys the little parachute. That comes down, and all the, all the kids go, God, Roxon, you're great, and you're interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but you do need to get out more. <laughs> but no, it's, it, and it's great fun. And ever since the, the landing in 1969, when I saw that as a kid on the 20th of July, I was I was hooked. I became a space. That was nut. it. Yeah, that was it. That absolutely. Was the day. Absolutely. Do you still remember that as a kid? Oh God, yeah. I remember. Where were you? Uh, well, I was in I was in the house watching our black and white TV. We didn't buy it, <laughs> 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 and uh, everybody else was around. And um, just remembering that the, they only had four, uh, 30 seconds of fuel left. Neil Armstrong, you know, they, they were relying on it being operated from the ground, but Neil Armstrong, single-handedly landed that aircraft because they were long the list the landing site so um he landed on the moon and was olden not many people know this but um took out the the disc of bread and this they ate the, the body of christ they drank the the, the the blood of christ they drank the wine so they took, it's a big big yeah. Y.O. yeah yeah and all of them were incredibly religious men so really religious experience and i just i think there's something euphoric about christ leaving being, the earth the the, the the i know you were <laughs> i like it i like it so you wanted to be an astronaut then Yep, I did. And, you know, with uh, the introduction of White Knight 2, the Galactic 2, uh, which is on by uh, Richard Branson, there's uh, tickets available to go and experience zero gravity. Have you booked your seat? I might do. William Shantner's pulled out. He was going to be the first passenger, oh. but he wanted uh, the assurance that he'd get back, so he pulled out. But no, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no it, so it would be great fun. Will you go? I'd love to, yeah. yeah we're will you about. pay £200,000? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But so you really wanted to be an astronaut? I did. Something. I mean, astronaut. It, 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 I just I think there's something wonderful about going from the Earth and up. There's something euphoric about it. And what to did see, you do in the Air Force then? Well, I tried. I, I wanted to be a, an RAF pilot, but um, I failed the leadership and the aptitude. And I think if the RAF, RAF and I were to survive, we would have to part. <laughs> um, and and I, I just didn't think it was good um, bombing countries that I, I know very little about. I just didn't like that aspect of it and, and, and the efficiencies of it all. But no, um, flying fast jets really floated my boat, I have to say. But I flew gliders as, as, as a young man and stuff. But uh, no, I'd, I'd love to be in a, a So tell me about Friday night at the Robson household. Yeah. Neighbours must just love you. <laughs> well, yeah, because these are, I mean, they are. They're, they're, they're dangerous things. I mean, they're, 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 they're explosives. They're, they're, it's, they're controlled explosions. And uh, there yeah, was... What does... Come on, just between... You and me in Australia. Worst disaster that you've had with the rocket? Um, I built a replica of Orbital 2, which was the, the, the commercial spacecraft that's going to take people into space. I bought a replica, and it was an H engine. And instead of going off, it went up and then sideways. And it's, it travelled at 700 miles an hour towards a couple and their beagle. Uh, yeah, and uh, it was very, very interesting. Yeah, so I wasn't allowed to set off in that area ever again. And we burnt next door neighbour's tennis court. It just melted the tar. 
fun. No, it's, it's great fun. Kids love it. The beagle, and, beagle okay? Yeah, the, the beagle's okay. It's quite interesting watching it walk with three legs. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're being, Sorry. Yeah, you're being, so, that, literally on a Friday night, you have people that... Well, it's, it's kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do have rocket parties. And, you know, when it's just an excuse to, to, to mm. get the, the, this stuff out. And, you know, we get the kids to do the countdown. We, we explain why they work. And if they don't work, we, we, we wonder why it doesn't. And then we, we, we try and get them to work. But, this, again, they, they love the idea of the countdown, the, the, you know, the, the blast, the power of it all is going off. And then we watch the, the video back of watching ourselves from space. It's great. Wow. It's great fun. Um, it's fascinating. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't lie. Michael makes trains. Does he? It's a little bit more passive than this, but mm. a very lovely sport indeed. Now, it's not quite a sport. Um, dedication. He, he mm. makes um, perfect O-gauge replicas of Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury Station. Oh, no. So I understand the English in there different ways. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it's fun. And it's, and it's making science popular. put a rocket on the back of the train. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great fun. Mm. That'd be great fun. And they asked me at school not only to do things for the for the kids at, at Taylor School and explain rocketry and the, the, the basic science behind it because we are celebrating Newton's laws of motion here for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction. It is pop making science popular and you know to, 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 to make it practical. Right here. Is this you here? Oh, no, that's yeah, the, oh, that's yeah. me there, that's yeah. You. That's the other one. See the one on the, 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 the big one on the left yeah. there of the screen? That's the one that got the beagle. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, you, don't, you don't want to see what's attached to it when I actually see the aftermath. <laughs> but no, that was, uh, it's, it, it's great fun and I continue to enjoy it. Very Wonderful. Much. Now, Darren, who uh, was part of a, a suburban rocket, as I said, there's oh. no such thing as a suburban rocket. Thank you. He's very proud of all this. Thank right? you very much, Darren. Can I have them? They're great. Well, no, I'll not be able to get them on the plane for Is that have been interesting. Yeah. Have you, would you tick the box? Have you any explosives? You know, when you jump on the plane, all those boxes you've got to tick? I'd love yeah, to see I that I love one. those boxes, especially mm. when you're trying to get a visa. I've got to be careful here. But when I was working in Texas, Mr. Green, have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? You ever been a member of a terrorist organization? That's just kind of a piece of silly. Are you think terrorism is fun, Mr. Green? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm really sorry. No, they do. Actually, those boxes are hilarious. But no, this is, this is all great fun. Just, just imagine jumping on a plane with this in your hand luggage. That's, yeah. That's, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> uh, Robson, what a treat. As always, you, you're just so entertaining and, and oh. fun to talk to. War in the Blood, um, dedicated uh, viewer, because it does have the grit and it's, it, it's just got such substance. Mm. And uh, congratulations. Thank and you, uh, do hope you take over the world. Well, you've got 40 countries, but there's a few left, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Especially in Texas. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great to have you with us, and thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Good morning. Robson Green joining us. More coming up on morning. Oh, can I ask you? This is a question. Sorry, I'm about to go. But um, kids in the playground, we asked our audience earlier, uh, because there's a Queensland school that's it's banned. The cartwheels. The cartwheels, yeah. The fun cartwheels. What's your view? What's my view? I'm thinking one of those teachers been smoking, for goodness sake. Banning car wheels. They've banned conkers in Britain. You know conkers? What's a conker? You know conker? Yeah, it's a horse chestnut and you keep hitting horse chestnuts on the string. Conkers. I'll draw pictures. Am I the only one? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry. conkers, it's a thing we do. They've banned conkers as well. There's hell on. And, oh. and, and they've chopped the chestnut trees down because conkers fall from the trees and hit the children on the head. Conkers and cartwheels. Are we getting too PC these days? Are we getting too PC? It's all ridiculous. And it's what kids do. So we express ourselves physically. And it's a very important part of our socialization process. Mm -hmm. This is a man who has rockets on a Friday night. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> Ross and Green, thank you. Pleasure. Uh, here's, uh, here's something uh, for a little domestic help. Well, I thought I might.